Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richard Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Currently, we are on Test Realm, which I haven't been on Test Realm in a very long time. Well, technically, they didn't really have a Test Realm for the Nightmare Dungeon and blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, we are on Test Realm, and I wanted to check out the uh, Tear Socket Jewels. And specifically, those have gotten a little bit of an update um, in this patch, or at least in the test realm. Uh, we read the notes, and they said that they give cards now, or at least some of them give cards, which I wanted to check out with you guys. I already skimmed through it, but, like, I just want you guys to see that, like, this is honestly just awesome. This is probably, like, one of my favorite things about this patch. So... Over here, we're in the Tier Jewel set for the crafting. You can visit this crafting vendor um, in Hope Springs. His name is Bingo. He pretty much has, like, all the jewel recipes and stuff like that. First up, we got a Balanced Blade Citron. Like, literally, for a Tier Socket, that is awesome. It's a plus 25% uh, blade. So, there you go. kind of wish it was a plus 35, but still, you can put that on your tier jewels and the thing about tier jewels is like over time i have nothing really to put the tier sockets on like let me go over here i don't have it for my amulet but my atham i just have like plus 145 health and then you could also put like a cracked fishing energy thing or um whatever it is the mana one i just never use the tier sockets for the life of me most of the time i'll just put mana in it but the fact that now you can put actual cards in it, that just adds so much versatility for it. I know it sounds like I'm glazing them. I know I know people can't stand to like to be in my presence. Like I already know that coming back to this community, I was like, ah, oh, there's a whiz head's back at it again. I know you guys hate me. I know. But check this out. We also got a cleanse charm sapphire. Now, this is the one that removes the debuff off of a player, so definitely might be good. I wouldn't pay attention to the school icons, though. I think those are just um, a visual bug. Um, but, dude, it's just... It is just so cool to have this. Look, we even got a Cleanse Ward Ruby as well. That's a tear shape. So, again, yeah, all of them have, like, different school icons, so I wouldn't pay much attention to that. Um, zero pips, again, just cracked out. Or, if you need blades, you also have these blade jewels as well. Plus 35, you got disarm, this removes a blade. Elemental blade, this one I might actually get. This is the one I actually might get, in case I want to, like, blade stack someone. This one looks pretty decent. And then this one is really good, and I am super excited to get, the Faint Citron, which... This is great. It's a plus 70, right? Obviously, you can't use it in advanced combat. I don't care about advanced content, challenge mode, raids. I don't care about that junk. Um, but this is really cool. And again, it's a tier socket. You don't have to sacrifice um, your triangle sockets, especially if you're already using them for something else, like a 10% pip chance or just a different type of spell card. This is absolutely incredible the only thing though i will say about this whole thing is that i would really love if they had the rebirth uh ruby or not ruby but just the rebirth jade thing that would go so well with my healing set it's the uh, seven pip one that would be so great to have it as a tear socket um for fire blade it's pretty much the same thing plus 35 for the ice blade same thing 35 incapacitate amethyst is interesting and i'm not sure if this is like if this is a glitch or if this is what it's supposed to be but it looks like a healing a healing current but it's actually not it's called uh incapacitate it removes a healing over time so this one is like i don't know i personally want to use it it definitely would be interesting to use in advanced content though because not pvp band or anything it only takes one pip and apparently it has 100 percent uh, accuracy so, um, yeah, interesting stuff. It's basically a hot removal. So, definitely worth a shot. Definitely make sure to check it out. I'm honestly probably going to get all of these as long as the recipe stays at, like, 
10 dream water a piece to craft these um, I'm probably just gonna craft all of them because again there are so many possibilities you can do there's so many builds life blade and then this is when we get to the really good stuff moon shields dude this is awesome now if you don't know what the moon shield is it's a minus 50 to the next death ice or myth attack spell that you get hit by so this one's really cool to have it's kind of like the elemental and spirit shield except uh moon wise so again pretty nice stuff might be really cool to add that to your deck um zero pips of course it's moon school so 100 percent accuracy and all that fun stuff myth blade same thing plus 35 pierce this is also something i really need um, just to remove those pesky croc anks. Good thing I'm not doing that anymore. Or you can do potent traps, which again, they have that as a tear socket. You can do that as a plus 10% to um, the negative ward, basically like a trap. You can put that on a faint. So that would be like a plus 80 faint and all that fun stuff. So again, just as a tear socket though, that just opens up the door for so many possibilities. I know, the glazing is crazy. I know you guys can't stand it, but, dude, this is so awesome. We even got one for Sharpen Blade 2. We got a Spirit Blade 1. We got a Star Blade, a Storm Blade, Sun Trap. Now, if you don't know what Sun Trap is, kind of similar to, like, the Moon Shield mechanic, except this time for the Sun Trap, um, it's a plus 25% to the next myth life or fire damage so again just 10 out of 10 dude and then we got the triage one with i don't need the triage i already have triage as a life wizard so i don't need this but for other players um they might need that and you probably also recognize that they kind of changed the icons a little bit like they added a little bit of a slight i guess polish with them i guess it's kind of easier to read on the eyes in a sense but overall though this entire thing is awesome now i'm really crossing my fingers that this makes it to the day one test because sometimes whenever it comes to content with like test rem and this is where it kind of aggravates me not all the content gets released like day one right and another thing that also aggravates me is that like a lot of things just genuinely don't make it to live realm for example, the Treasure Card Vault. We will never ever see the Treasure Card Vault ever again. That has been completely scrapped and they've made the statement numerous times that they just don't want people hoarding items and that's where you would basically just have like an alternative character friend them and basically just dump all of your uh, treasure cards to that alternative you know, character or whatever like that, right? I think another thing that got scrapped was the gold skeleton key at the raid gate. Like, you could uh, fight gold skeleton key battles through that uh, battle gate on the raid island, but that just never saw the light of day um, at all. So, that's gone completely. Yeah, there's a lot of things that get scrapped. But, no, this definitely, it doesn't look like it's going to get scrapped anytime soon. And... Again, I'm just really crossing my fingers that we get it day one because I would love to just craft a lot of these or just some of these. I mean, again, the possibilities you can do are endless, especially some of the other stuff. The astral spells like the moon shield, I would love to have a moon shield in my deck or like a star blade. Like I would just love to have all of these in my deck, you know? But we'll see what happens when it does release into the live servers. We'll see if it does make it day one. If it doesn't or if there's a bug with them or a glitch or whatever happens. We'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just see and, you know, fingers crossed that it all goes well. But yes, I am definitely excited for this. Um, definitely can't wait to redo my uh, healing build. Considering that now I can replace all of my tear sockets. Um, with good jewels, with cards that are going to be useful in combat and stuff like that. Like, this is absolutely amazing. So, we'll see what happens, and again, I'll keep you updated on all of that. Let me know in the comments on how you feel about all of this. I know everybody is like a whiz hater, but you gotta give credit where credit is due, man. You gotta give the credit. So, huge shout out to the devs, as always, and... Yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.